In the heart of the land of wonder, where rivers flow with chocolate and trees bloom with lollipops, lived a small, colorful dragon named Spark. Spark was not like the other dragons. While they could breathe fire, Spark only breathed sparkles. He often felt sad and different, wishing he could be like the others. One sunny day, as Spark played by the rainbow waterfall, something strange happened. The sky began to darken, and a huge, dark cloud crept across the sky, blocking the bright sun. The candy trees started to wilt, their once vibrant colors fading, and the chocolate rivers began to dry up. All the magical creatures in the Land of Wonder grew worried. The older dragons tried to drive the dark cloud away with their fiery breath, but no matter how hard they tried, the cloud would not budge. It only grew darker and bigger, swallowing up the light. Spark watched from a distance, feeling helpless. What can I do? He thought. I can't even breathe fire like the others. Just then, his best friend, Luna the fairy, fluttered by his side. She had seen Spark feeling down and wanted to help. Spark, Luna said with a kind smile, you have something special inside you. Maybe it's your sparkles that can help. But how? Spark asked, still unsure. Luna encouraged him, you won't know until you try, Spark. Believe in yourself. Your sparkles are magical in their own way. Spark took a deep breath. He didn't know if it would work, but he had to try. With Luna by his side, Spark began his journey toward the dark cloud. Along the way, he met many creatures of the Land of Wonder. A wise old owl told him, every creature has a unique gift. It's not about what you can't do, but what you can. A friendly rabbit added, it's not the size of your power, but the size of your heart that counts. These words gave Spark the courage he needed. When he finally reached the edge of the dark cloud, Spark felt a weight of doubt lift from his shoulders. With all his might, he breathed out his sparkles. At first, nothing happened. But then, as the sparkles touched the cloud, a soft light began to shine through. The sparkles spread, dancing through the dark cloud, and slowly, the cloud began to change. It wasn't burned away like the other dragons had tried to do. Instead, the sparkles filled it with light and color. The cloud turned from a dark, menacing shadow into a glowing, sparkling rainbow cloud. The sun returned, the candy trees perked up, and the chocolate rivers flowed once again. All the creatures of the Land of Wonder cheered and celebrated. Spark had done what no one else could. He had saved their world with his unique power. As Spark and Luna watched the rainbow cloud float away, Spark felt something he had never felt before. Pride. He realized that being different wasn't bad at all. In fact, it was his greatest strength. From that day on, Spark was no longer the dragon who felt sad and different. He was the dragon who brought light and color back to the land of wonder. And every time he breathed his sparkles, he did so with joy, knowing that his special gift made him truly one of a kind. And so, the land of wonder remained a place of magic and joy, all thanks to the bravery of a small, colorful dragon named Spark, who learned that the power to change the world lies in being true to who you are.